Yes, yeah, so I'm Vortex here and welcome to my review of the Moondrop 3 DSP or basically their DSP cable. Um, yeah, you can see that's that's the packaging, so it's quite basic. So yeah, as usual, full disclaimer is I'd like to thank Shenzhen Audio Store for sending me this to try, so thank you very much. I was not paid to do this video, nor thoughts and opinions are my own. And this is currently priced around $25. And the purpose of this is basically like a dongle DAC which it has different DSP settings for different, basically, Moondrop products. And that's pretty much it. So, as you can imagine, you don't get much. So, let's just get into it. So, obviously, like I said, massive amount of packaging. And that's it. So, very small. So, free DSP. Obviously, USB Type-C. Obviously, I don't understand the rest. But you'll see it's, there's not much to it. So, it just screws off. Um, and that's it. I've not tried this yet, so I'm quite curious. Have a look at that in a sec. It's a QC. So obviously, scan this. It should link you to the version 2.0. Now, when I did the space travel review, that app doesn't work with this one. That's one point something. I can't remember the number. But you need 2.0. If you scan this, it will send it to it. Also, on the Moondrop site... The version link 2.0 has a server error, so it's you have to dig. I don't like that you have to dig around trying to find it, so obviously this is all you get. So it's basically a dongle with DSP facilities. Obviously I'll open it up in a sec, but the cable actually seems pretty good. Inline buttons. Well, might be three buttons, obviously I'll figure that out. Um, and that's it, so... I'm going to spend some time with some Moondrop items I've got. So I've got the Moondrop LAN with me and I've got the Chew 2. So if I can, and if there's DSPs for them, I'll try it with those. Um, and yeah, hopefully this is actually good. I don't know anything about this. So yeah, I'll see you in the future when I've tried a few bits. So this is what the app looks like. And when you first get it, it's actually in Chinese. So it's a complete nightmare to change. So you have to click the three in other tabs, top left. And then go to setting, then bottom one. I had to do that blind, but anyway, that's where you get in night mode, theme colour, some random characters there. Uh, language, obviously, there's a few. Obviously, I'm English. And that's the main page. If you click product, there's a bunch of stuff there if that really matters to you. Home, which I'll get to in a sec. About. So you can log in, obviously you don't want. The version number there is the latest as of the uh, the 4th of October 2023. That's the latest model. Obviously some information there. So if you click again, uh, top three. So wipe data, you can wipe, as you can see, clear cache from the app. But anyway, so let's get into the meat of it. So that's blank at the moment, so you click the plus. Bluetooth device, USB device, obviously USB because it's the, the type C. So click that. So obviously, it's, I, I guess it's compatible with all of these. I'm only here to try it with the free DSP. Now, one thing to note is, when I did the space travel, that app, the Moondrop app, this is a, that's a separate app. So this is a, so I've got two Moondrop apps, which I don't really like. But anyway, that's what this is allegedly is compatible with. I don't own like the, the Dawn 3.5 or 4.4. .4, or the Moondrop 2 Ti, or that CDSP, or whatever the maze. But anyway, free DSP, click that. So here you go. So, preset EQs, normal bass plus, bass plus plus, sound stage plus, treble plus. They are just basically EQs. Now, obviously you can click what you want and then click apply. But this is where this, I like the idea of this app, but it doesn't seem very... It needs more work, so if you click PEQ. Now, if you scroll, you can see me scroll. That's it. So the limit is meant to be 10,000. Uh, you need more than that. This needs more work, as you can see. Then you got bottom import, apply PEQ submission, then download. Obviously, the characters are wrong for the English translation. So... Let's just click download. Now, this is the part I don't like. 
So for you to use any of these, you actually have to use an internet connection. I don't really like that. You shouldn't have to use the internet to change your DSP. That's, that that's, makes no sense. This should be like preloaded on. But anyway, you can see it's got Stellaris VDSF, Stellaris Base Plus. There's three LAN ones. There's three Blessing 3 and three Kato's and that's it. So no, no like Chew 2, nothing like that. No Blessing 2 Dusk, Blessing 2, nothing like that. Just Stellaris, the LAN, which I do have. Blessing 3 and the Kato. So you see like there, the LAN base head, I've had to download it. And then you have to apply it. You only can do that one at a time. If you click mine, you have to log in, which I don't really like. Featured. I guess these, these, are, these are what people have uh, submitted. EQ name, some people have done soft, uh, softies, tr tremolo, treble. Truth is zero red. So these are user submitted ones. Obviously this Kasuga 77 has done quite a few. Obviously it's up to them. They've done a Nova one. Also, st spoiler, I've received the Nova, so that'll be coming out soon. You can see these are all user submitted. Um, yeah, so I've gone, gone quite a bit. But yeah, you have to use your own internet to do that. Plus on the uh, the PEQ, it has limits. Um, I'll go a little bit more into detail in the next clip, well, on the, on the conclusion and stuff. But that's the app. That's what it looks like. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If I missed anything, I'll, I'll add any additional information in the next clip. So welcome to my review section of the Moondrop 3 DSP type c cable obviously you just saw a really in-depth look of the app now let's actually have a look at what they are so here's the type c part so 3dsp moon drop quite a nice cable to be honest i'm happy with i'm good thing i'm quite glad the cable's not trash but uh yeah so why split doesn't really do a fat lot and obviously here's the so it comes with a mic plus a minus of volume controls and there's a button in the middle which is just play pause. And this is what it looks like obviously on the LAN. It's, it's actually supported. Now it fits. Fits perfect like you never know. So just take these off. So what's this actually like? So obviously type C works fine. It's plug and play. Obviously you need the app. Which I don't really like. But um, yeah so you need the actual app. Like I said before when I did the... Um, the space travel I had to use another app so you, the fight you find this app through the actual QR code scan if you got that on your phone so bear that in mind obviously I didn't really like that I've got two moon drop apps on my phone it's going to get cluttered but it is what it is so the app obviously is the key fundamental of this what I don't like with the app is it has limitations in the EQ it goes from 40 hertz to 10,000 hertz which is okay but let's say if you've got something with uh, an item you get, it's got 10,500, might be a massive peak. Or it's recessed, do you want to change either way? You can't do that. Um, you can do it from minus 12 dB up to three, plus 3 dB, which is okay, but just depends on what you're doing. And the Q is a high of 10, I think it's down to 0 0.2. But then again, and it's only 9 bands, so it needs more. It needs more work, and I don't like you have to use the internet to download each one. That should have been in the app, but then you only use the internet to download user-submitted profiles, basically. That's how it should be. Now, obviously, they don't tell you none of this in the advertising material. It didn't say any of this. You've had to, like, guess all this. Obviously, I've shown you in the app how to change it to English, if you're like me, an English speaker. So that's the app. Like, it seems like it should have been released when the. It feels like it's rushed. Like this works, obviously, but this software, which is so important, isn't ready yet or not good enough yet. If it was me, I would have done a lot more R and D in the app, and then released the um, then the product. Then when it gets to the, uh, you know, your customers out there, it works fine. So that's the one thing I don't like. So that's the app. So as, as it is, so the output power of this is actually fine. Um, the play and R, you should be fine. It's not, it's not as powerful as the uh, 3.5 and 4.4 4 
dongles I've been doing, like the Dawn Pro, that's more powerful than this. But for what you are using this for, it's fine. Um, battery drain as well seems quite low as well. Doesn't really get warm either. It's very basic microphone quality, which I'm sorry I didn't record, is actually fine as well. The cable it's itself, as you can see, is, is fine. As you can see. So for $30, it seems 20, well, $25, $30, it's not too bad. I like the idea, there's so much customization in theory. But obviously, I think the software needs a bit of work. And it also seems a little bit buggy for me in the app. Like you do something, then if you come out of the app and go back in, it keeps trying to tell me to like reconnect, reconnect all the time. So if you reboot the phone, uh, go back in, it's fine. But if you go out of the app, go back in, it's weird again. So it's got it's got quirks with the software. Um, yeah, so I don't know what else to say really. I like the say I like the idea with this, but I just don't think it's ready yet. So I'm on the fence. It's kind of 50-50. Obviously, in the app, there's only was it four or five models that this actually supports. Um, it would have been good to see some of the Chew Two as well, instead of the more expensive models. Basically, um, I think that's pretty much it. Like, if we're knowing to particular, if I missed anything about this, then please do let me know. But yeah, the free DSP. A little bit mixed thoughts from me. I'm I'm not too bad about the price or what it is. As you say, it's a good cable. I just think the app um, needs more work. And basically, there should be more information saying, oh, yeah, you need internet to change DSPs, basically. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. If I missed anything or you want to ask anything more specific about these, please do let me know in the comments. My true Thea Nova has also arrived. So a big spoiler about that. And yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next video.